All right, Jamie and Vince, um, it's 1.02. Um, I don't know if you want to take another minute, but uh, it seems like uh, the participant rushing in has slowed down. Uh, so maybe it's a good time to go ahead and get started. The wave has subsided. Thank you, Orly. Welcome everyone to Prevail's Q3 partner webinar. Uh, we will be doing these going forward on a, on a quarterly basis. And I do really appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day to spend some time with us. Uh, to learn a few things about what Prevail is up to and how it applies to you and our opportunities to do business together in this space. Um, we know that uh, the space uh, in, in the secure and encrypted email and file sharing and working with customers and clients on compliance uh, for the DOD and other types of compliance uh, can be a bit chaotic, uh, but it's also a very attractive market and we all wanna stay attuned to what's going on. So again, thanks for joining uh, with me today. I have uh, Orly Berlov, who heads up uh, our marketing programs, uh, Jamie Leopold, who heads up our strategic partner activities, um, and myself, Vince Petreca, I head up our sales organization at Prevail. Okay, so the agenda for today is to cover a few different topics in pretty rapid fire. Uh, and then we'll take Q&A after that. So first we'll go into CMMC updates, uh, just some quick updates on where things are with the overall industry and the CMMC program. Uh, we'll do a spotlight on a few unique Prevail features uh, that we'd like to highlight, uh, both new and not so new, but maybe that deserve a little bit of time. We'll have some updates on uh, partner programs and then specifics around a free for 2023 partner promotion that will apply to our reseller and referral partners. So that's the agenda for today. And with that, why don't we go ahead and get rolling? I'm gonna turn it over to Jamie, uh, who is um, one of our CMMC certified professionals at Prevail, who's gonna provide some information on the CMMC situation in the marketplace. Thanks Vince, and thanks everyone who's attending today. Uh, again, this is Jamie Leupold. I'm the Director of Channel Sales and Alliances here at Prevail. I'm a CCP and I work uh, most closely with our certified partners and our C3PO community. Talk a little bit more about that later. Um, but yeah, so uh, I suspect most of you um, have a sense of what's going on in the market. But again, I think it's always good to uh, just reinforce the messaging and give you some perspective on you know where we're thinking. Um, so the good news was that CMMC was sent from DOD to OMB to the OIRA agency uh, back on uh, July 26th. And what that means is that OI, it's now in OIRA's internal review. And that is typically, um, there, there's no minimum review, but it's supposed to be a maximum of 90 days uh, with the option for a one-time 30-day extension. Um, so Typically, based on if you look at historical analysis, you know, we are expecting the CMMC rule to be published in the Federal Register uh, sometime between, say, Halloween and Thanksgiving. Um, that, that's kind of the, the time frame that we're looking on. If they stick with the 90 days, and they are calendar days, so if they stick with the 90 days, that puts us right up uh, at the end of October. If they take the 30-day the extension, um, that puts us into uh, Thanksgiving. So... Um, once that is released, then there'll be a public comment period, which is a mandatory 60 days uh, for anyone in, in public to go ahead and comment on the proposed rule. Uh, we are assuming it'll be a proposed rule, not an interim final rule. That's what the signaling from the DOD and, and the Cyber AB has been. Um, and then, you know, they, they take their, their time to uh, review all of the comments um, before, you know, publishing the final rule. Um, which could take anywhere from six to, to 12 to months, potentially longer. But everything that the DOD and the Cyber AB has signaled is they're expecting CMMC to start appearing in contracts in, in Q3, Q4 of 2024. Um, so we, we certainly assume that will be the case as well. Um, Matt Travis has added recently, last week, I think it was, that he's expecting um, the rule to come out in November, December timeframe. I honestly think that's a little bit late, um, just based on um, the OIRA agency and you know what they're supposed to be beholden to. So again, could be Halloween, could be Thanksgiving. We'll have something to talk about over the holidays for sure. Thanks, Jamie. And could be any time here in September. 
right? Um, we we don't know exactly what that timeline is. Uh, it's within the within the release period right now, uh, and the initial release period would end on October twenty seventh, but it could be this month. In fact, that's what you know some people have been forecasting. So we'll see what happens. Uh, from a market perspective, we are certainly seeing uh, folks very interested in moving forward now in advance of the rush uh, that's sure to happen once this uh, proposed rulemaking is made. So we're seeing more interest from the marketplace, more people coming to, to our website here at Prevail, requesting meetings, requesting quotes, requesting information. I'm sure our partner community is starting to feel this as well. And we should both be you know, looking forward to a situation where there will be significant increases in activity as we head up to the release and after that release occurs. Great, thanks, Jamie. Um, we're now gonna move on to, uh, and I'll just say, whether there's questions about uh, the, the timeline or any other topics today, feel free to put those into the, the Q&A uh, on the, the Zoom here, and we'll, we'll review those and get to, get to a few of those after our, our discussion here. Um, First, uh, first product item that we want to talk about is, is something new that we have now at Prevail. And uh, Jamie's also going to double task here and uh, show us the cloud edit feature for Prevail um, and explain you know, some of the benefits of that. So I'm going to stop sharing, Jamie, and turn it over to you. Thanks, Vince. Yeah, so i um, very excited to share this with you all today. And um, full disclosure, this is, is still in beta. Um, we are, you know, uh, testing it both internally and, and we have a select uh, few folks that are testing it as well. If you're interested in testing it out, um, reach out to me, reach out to Vince, uh, and we can, you know, work with support and get you set up also. Um, so what is Cloud Edit? So, you know, this is one of the most frequently requested um, feature enhancements that we get here at Prevail. And what it's essentially allowing you to do is work within the Prevail environment, open, let's say, a Word document, edit that Word document, save it back to Prevail, um, have somebody else do the same thing, and it never is actually locally synced to your machine. Now, I want to pause there because I want to make sure that everyone's clear. It's temporarily downloading to your machine, and you are still processing on your local endpoint the whatever document. It, it can be a Word document, PowerPoint, really anything that can open up as a native application. Um, but again, we're not saying that this is going to take the endpoint out of scope, but what we, it does do is it really helps you restrict and control the flow of that CUI. So some folks are concerned that their users can download um, to their local machine and then move it, let's say, to OneDrive or to some other personal folder you know, that is not part of their CUI boundary. Um, and so this is going to help dramatically reduce that, that from happening. Um, so I've got two different uh, environments here. I've got, this is actually my main drive. This is my demo environment. And you'll see I'm going to open my cloud edit test folder here. Uh, I'm going to go to this new document here. Um, the other thing that this is going to do is when somebody actually opens it, it's going to automatically lock that file so that nobody else can go and overwrite what they're working on. Um, so that's another nice feature enhancement. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is simply edit. Um, now, bear with me one second. Again, it's essentially decrypting it, pull it, pulling it down from the AWS cloud, decrypting it locally. It'll open up for me. Um, and then I'll show you. So it's a currently a blank document for our webinar. I'm then just going to go ahead and save this. Going to... Of course, it opens right over my Zoom control panel. Hmm. Gonna close that out. Uh, and again, just to reiterate, this is a non, this is not locally synced. This folder is not locally synced. Um, just going to make sure this is refreshed. Now I'm going to go over to this drive, I'm going to go into my cloud edit test here. This way. Right. And you could see that that would just been edited as of 3.11 p.m., Jamie. 
Correct. Yep. yep. And so you'll see it's already got the edits I've made. And now again, I'm just going to hit save. Close that out. And again, this is a not locally synced um, file, not locally synced folder. So I never had to go into my, my, my local folder to make any changes on this document. Everything, once I make all those changes and save, the temporary file that was downloaded is automatically deleted. So it's no longer you know, living locally on my system. Um, and everything is being, of course, stored encrypted uh, in the AWS Gov Cloud. So that is uh, our cloud edit capability. Happy to, and you'll see um, it's now been unlocked again. Um, happy to answer, you know, any questions on that. Um, you know, you can reach out to us directly, Vince, myself, um, and, you know, happy to, to dive a little bit deeper into this. Um, I think it's a very ex exciting capability. It does, of course, work with Excel, with PowerPoint. Um, just wanted to show you real quickly through Word today. Um, so with that, I will pause sharing. Thanks, Jamie. I just want to want to point out multiple benefits to this. Uh, one is, of course, the the data control aspect, just maintaining the 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 content in the Prevail Cloud only. Um, obviously, as Jamie said, endpoints still in scope uh, for will need endpoint controls, but a lot you know more precise handling of the content in the Prevail Cloud. Second, if you have a big uh, folder structure and uh, folks don't want to have to sync to their machines, just leave it in, in the cloud. They can just you know, work on the files they need to as they need to, it makes it very efficient from that, that perspective. And then also the benefits around collaboration. One person's editing, someone else can't edit at the same time, and that's handled all automatically by Prevail there. One other thing I, I did want to add is what I showed you is was kind of phase one today. So it's the capability, the ability to do the cloud editing. Um, you may have noticed, um, and if you're watching this on replay, that there is a, a download button available there. Um, phase two will add administrative controls so that administratively, um, if we want to restrict the ability to, let's say, even download that, that will be part of the, the uh, feature enhancement as well. Um, and that'll be handled at, at the admin level. So your standard users, they simply won't even be able to download. They can only work on it in the, the cloud edit mode. An option based where your organization could work with Prevail with no local sync. Yep. Very good. Thanks, Jamie. Great. Let me take back the controls. I'll uh, share my screen again. Okay, so I'm gonna go on now and I'll do a, a quick demo on a couple items with Prevail. Uh, one is our new auto-encrypt capability. Now, uh, we've had an Outlook add-in for a number of years, which is a strong part of our offering. So you can just manage your Prevail content uh, right inside your, your Outlook view. Uh, the Outlook add-in adds some nice capabilities around the banners and, and uh, notifications on when you're inviting third parties to, to um, get access to Prevail, things like that. Uh, Auto-encrypt uh, for add-in is a new capability. I wanna show you that. And I can do that in combination with also doing an update on Prevail Express. Prevail Express has been around for quite a while now, uh, almost 18 months. And I know many of you have experience with it. But for those of you that have been with us for years and maybe have more experience when we had um, the installation requirement for third parties, just wanna make sure you understood how lightweight and easy the Prevail Express portal is to use. Uh, no longer is there any requirement for installation or download for those third parties. Uh, they can easily access the Prevail portal uh, via multi-factor authentication uh, in any browser. Uh, so it just makes it a lot easier. And we're seeing thousands and thousands of these accounts being created every month by everyone across the, uh, uh, across the country and especially in the defense industrial base. So I'm going to show you my environment here in Outlook. And as you can see, I had the, uh, the webinar invite in my regular mail. Any of you who've used the Prevail Outlook view before know that you still maintain your regular mail inside of Outlook. Uh, for most folks, that might be a commercial Office 365 setup, and that will all be here. Um, inclusive in that, uh, in that regular mailbox, you will have Prevail administrative messages that come through occasionally. Uh, but with Prevail and the way we operate, you'll have your encrypted Prevail uh, mailbox right below. Notice that the message encrypted 
is clearly noted here for all of these messages. These are all of the emails that are within your compliance boundary and managing it as such. Um, so let me give you a sense. This, so this is the add-in shows. You can see the, the effect of the add-in with message not encrypted here when I'm in my Office 365 mailbox. Um, let me just hide these loading controls. Okay. And if I go to new email or reply or forward, uh, Prevail is going to know whether you're in your unencrypted mailbox or in your Prevail mailbox. It's automatically going to act accordingly. So if I'm in my not encrypted mailbox and I hit new email, uh, it will default to a new unencrypted mail, mail. Now you see you do have a toggle on here at all times. So if someone knows that they're communicating with protected information, including ITOR or CUI, they should have in your policy that they turn on encryption. However, to ensure that even if someone forgets to do that, uh, we've come up with a new auto encrypt capability. So uh, let's go ahead and send this to, and I'll go ahead and send this to a Prevail demo account. And let's call this CUI. And this would be X Wing Schematics. See, now without doing anything there, I, I just was going down to, to type in a description. The message automatically changed to message encrypted, meaning it would, it would transit through the prevail end-to-end -end encrypted environment. That's because I put CUI into this subject line. And so the way we've got auto-encrypt set up is that if you type CUI or ITAR or secure or encrypt or FOUO or another 10 or so words or, or acronyms, uh, it will automatically uh, encrypt that that message. So a great way to ensure that that, that encryption is happening when it's supposed to be happening and allows you to set up a policy that's got a double fail safe in it. Um, note that if you didn't want that to be encrypted, you still have the option to turn off encryption as a toggle. Um, but let me go ahead and type this here. All right, and then I will just Connect, put an attachment in here. And these slides. Now I'll provide, put some NIST controls as a, as a here, and I'll send this off. Okay, now I sent that off to a third party that is in my trusted community. Uh, in Prevail, and they're going to have uh, access, you know, for them to get access to this. Now, the first time I would have communicated with them, I could have given them a heads up, uh, that, you know, certainly about our use of Prevail and how to do that. Had I not, then they would just receive a, a regular email in their regular mailbox, letting them know that Vince is sharing this encrypted message with them and that they can gain access to the Prevail portal just by clicking this link. So they click the link, uh, they set up access, which basically just means they're verifying who they are with multi-factor authentication on their mobile device, um, and then they'll have their account. So if I now go to that third party individual, any major browser here, close that down, so we'll get back in again. Okay, and you'll see that in your email, in your regular email, and this is just a demo account that I set up, you'll get a message in your regular email that says you have encrypted email available. And that will show up within 10 minutes uh, of someone sending you that, that, that prevail mail. All they'll have to do is click the link that shows up in that mail, and that's gonna take them to the Prevail Express portal. Uh, you'll see that it already knows who I am uh, from, from the email. And hit sign in with my password for the account, which I set up when I originally created my Prevail Express portal access. Hit continue. I'm going to get a verification code on my mobile device. Six digits. We also have a method of doing the authentication with a Google Authenticator app and other options as well. Most of our, our clients use this. Um, and here you go. Here's that third party access and Prevail Express portal. Here is the uh, email that I just sent. Here's the attachment that was sent with that. Uh, they can reply to this right here in the Prevail portal. 
They can use Prevail Drive for sharing of content uh, bi-directionally. Uh, all that's available to them. And then when I'm done, if I uh, have been in for more than 30 minutes, the system will automatically log me out or I can hit log out to be done with that. And there you go. I'd have to log back in to access that Prevail Express account again. So again, Prevail Express, an extremely easy, free method for third parties uh, that, that your clients are dealing with to be able to, to share content with your clients and vice versa. Uh, it's, it's really, I think, one of the best methods that's out there in the industry today for handling and sharing of CY with those third parties. Um, so that's that's really a nice plus for your, your clients. And as I showed you before with the auto encrypt, just another benefit that we've added to an existing capability. Um, in addition, what we've done in the latest version of the uh, add-in, the Outlook add-in, is it does auto update as well. So if we do make changes in the future enhancements, they won't have to reset that up. That will automatically be incorporated through an auto update process. Vince, I think you were going to turn it over to me next to go over the different partner programs, the, the new partner programs. Yeah, hold on. I'm just trying to find the uh, control that gets me, <laughs> that lets me turn off the sharing. I think I hid the, there they are. Hold on. Sorry. You know, I hid the hidden controls, the hid, hid the controls, but I couldn't find the controls. All right. You're up, Jamie. All oh, right. Thanks. Do I need to uh, go back to the? I got it. Okay, did you have okay. anything else to show, Jamie, or do you want me to go to Orly for the CMMC day? Um, are we doing CMMC day or the new partner, the new partner programs? Uh, you can you go ahead and do the partner and programs. We, and then we'll, we'll, then we'll finish with, with Orly and CMMC sure. day. Yep. yep. Um, yeah, so um, as, and, and I appreciate that I, I see some of you are um, on, uh, some of our new advanced partners are actually on this webinar, so certainly appreciate your support and, and attending. Um, and as many of you know, and, and for those um, that aren't aware, uh, we have rolled out two new advanced kind of partner programs here at Prevail. Uh, and the reason behind this is we're getting an increase in customers that are coming to us looking for uh, additional expertise and, and help um, specifically around the CMMC and, and other uh, DO, DOD compliance requirements such as DFARS and the state 171 assessments. Um, and so what we've done is created really two different partner programs, advanced partner programs, um, and they can be discovered under the find a partner tab here. Um, and the first program I'm going to cover is our preferred C through PAO program. Uh, program's pretty straightforward. You do have to be an authorized C through PAO to participate in this uh, per the Cyber AB Marketplace. So uh, if you are an authorized C through PAO, this is a great way um, for you to become part of this, this special program that we have. Uh, this is a non-revenue program. We wanted to make sure that, that, that there was no monetary exchange here um, because obviously as a, a C3PAO, you know, you want to be very careful of any sort of conflict of interest. Um, and the way this program works is uh, we're working with preferred C3PAOs that are educated on Prevail, uh, have gone through some Prevail training, and have also studied our documentation um, with the end goal of being reducing the assessment effort, you know, for the OSCs, um, because we do have, you know, we're closing in on a thousand customers that will eventually need to go in front of a, a C3PO for assessment. Um, any questions on, on this program, feel free to reach out to me. Again, it is reserved strictly for authorized C3PAOs. Uh, if you're a candidate C3PAO today, great. Once you become authorized, if it's something you're interested in, more than happy to, to have a conversation with you. Um, the other program we have is open to really anybody that can be found in the, the CyberAB marketplace, um, whether you're an RPO, an RP, RPA, CCP, 
any of the other alphabet soup of, of acronyms that, that they list. Uh, as long as you're listed there and you're an active Prevail partner today where we have joint customers, uh, we have a certified consultant program. Um, so the, the C3PAO program, again, is reserved for those folks that are C3PAOs that are primarily assisting customers either through um, starting out with assessments or actually going through the assessment process formally once that's complete. Uh, and our consultant program is for folks that really need help getting started. Um, you know, they're, they're on the road to CMMC, they've got Prevail, but they don't know where to go from here. Um, that's where our certified consultant program comes in. Um, these can be, you know, folks that are, are just helping write policies and procedures. Um, these can be MSPs, MSSPs that do the full soup to nuts implementation for the customers. Um, there's a wide variety here. Uh, again, they are active partners. They have to be listed in some capacity on the AB marketplace. Um, and then there's some other, you know, steps that we go through together, making sure that you have both the appropriate CMMC expertise and prevail expertise um, to join the program. So they are, you know, both select programs. Um, I manage both of these programs myself. So if you have any questions, if you're interested in, in joining one of the programs, um, you know, feel free to uh, reach out to me directly, Jamie at Prevail. Um, and then, you know, you'll get a nice listing on our website, your contact info, uh, what your specialties are. Um, and that's, you know, for, for both programs. Obviously, we have far fewer C3PAOs because there are far fewer C3PAOs uh, in the marketplace today. So those are the, the kind of the two advanced programs that I wanted to cover. And I think it's back to you, Vince. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Jamie. That's Really right. What we're finding in the marketplace is that that uh, folks who are dealing with the compliance challenge really appreciate being able to work with a kind of a group of trusted partners. And that's what we're doing here is really creating that group of trusted partners, uh, ensuring that the folks who are included in this list have uh, are fully trained, are fully capable with prevail uh, platform with our documentation, et cetera, and know how to, to work with clients. And it's working very well so far. Let me go ahead and share my screen one last time. And then I will turn this over to Orly for a discussion of our CMMC day activities and partner opportunities. All right, um, thank you. Uh, thank you, Vince. I am Orly Burlov. I'm the Senior Director of Marketing here at Prevail. Um, so two things to share with you today. One is our Prevail events calendar, and then as Vince mentioned, our CMMC day. Uh, the first thing is our events calendar. It's just a little bit of bragging. Uh, we finally have this up after many, many years. Let me just share. Um, can I get sharing capabilities, Vince? Thank uh, you. Just this one time. All right, very kind of you. Um, you guys seeing my screen? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Not yet. Yeah. There we go. Share. There it is. All right. There you go. All right. So I was trying to show off. That's why I why it failed. Anyway, on our resources, we now have this big, bad Prevail events link, um, and it'll take you to all of our events that are coming up. Um, and, you know, you can see that next week we'll be in Huntsville uh, for the Huntsville um, National Cyber Summit. Um, next week, we also have our higher education um webinar. And then, as Vince was mentioning, is the fourth annual CMMC Day. Uh, so those of you partners who have been around uh, for a while uh, know that every year we have a big annual summit, brings in over uh, 2,000 registrants. Um, last year, we had about uh, 2,600 people sign up. And we bring in, you know, A-list speakers. Last week, year, we had uh, Robert Metzger, um, not to mention Stacey Bostianic. Uh, we had um, former uh, CISOs for prime contractors, such as J.C. Dodson, uh, who was the CISO over at BAE. Um, and this year, we're going to, uh, we're looking to have an equally impressive lineup of speakers um, and uh, sessions. 
One thing we're doing unique this year is that we are going to have a very significant partner component to our CMMC day. Um, lots of ways for partners who are interested in uh, participating to participate. Uh, so lots of details there. I won't get into all of them now just for uh, brevity's sake. But if you are interested in being a partner and helping support CMMC Day uh, and participating in it, please email me, uh, orly at prevail.com. That's O-R-L-E-E -E at prevail.com. Um, and my email will be at the end as well. All right. Um, right. Now back to these to these guys. All right. Thanks, Orly. Looking forward to uh, to our big event. Yeah, oh, one November. last thing. It's going yeah. to be on November 1st. I should have said that. November 1st is going to be our CMMC day. Um, and it'll be a half day like it has in the past, running from around 11, 1130 to around 5, 530 in the afternoon. Very good. Yeah, no, it's always big. We get many, many attendees for that. Uh, and I really expect, given where we are with the timeline that Jamie showed earlier, that we're going to get quite a few people joining more than ever this this year. Okay, we covered that. All right, then I'm going to move on to uh, to the last item in our program, which is the uh, our op option that's available for for clients to our resellers and our referral partners, referral partners uh, for the rest of 2023. And what we're calling this is the free for 2023 promotion. Essentially, essentially, what we will do is we will add to uh, the initial contract term for any deals that are closed between. Uh, done, that means signed agreement, done between now and the end of December, will add the months uh, in the con uh, full months that are left in this year. So just for example, if there's an opportunity that you're looking to uh, get done this month here in September, we will give you extend your term for free for three months, October, November, and December. So a 12 month term would become a 15 month term at the same price as, as a 12 month. Uh, if it's 24 month term, then we, you get 27 months for the price of 24. Uh, obviously, as each month goes by, there's a little less of a benefit. So it makes sense to try and get these done as quickly as possible uh, starting today. So free for 2023 is available to our reseller partners. It's also available upon request for referral partners. Um, and we can offer that same to your clients that we're uh, contracting with directly. Um, so pretty excited about this. Um, this, this helps some people get moving here that may otherwise wait until 2024. Um, you know, it's certainly up to you whether you want to pass this along on the reseller side, if you wish to pass this along to your clients or not, but of course we'd encourage you to do that. Um, so let me know, uh, if you have questions on that as well. Okay. So to repeat contact information, we've got. Uh, CMMC Day questions, please direct to orly at prevail.com. Any of the questions around the partner programs or highlights that Jamie pointed out, that would be jamie at prevail.com. Anything around the partner promotion, any other general questions, uh, please go ahead and reach out to me uh, or your partner manager. And if you don't know who your Prevail partner manager is, um, that would be one of our geographically uh, uh, account executives that manage geographies in the US then let me know and I'll make sure you get that information um, as well, vpetrack at prevail.com. Okay, I think if we have time orally, we can take a couple of questions. If you've seen some come through that look like uh, it makes sense to address. All right, uh, actually one that is very easy and that I can answer, it's how do we sign up for CMMC day if you wanna, if you wanna register just as a uh, attendee, you go to our events page um, and at the bottom or at the top there, actually, there is on the right, it says register for our CMMC day. Click on re the register and that'll take you to the landing page where you can register. If you're interested in participating as a partner, please email me and we will um, and we can talk and we can uh, discuss further. All right. There are a couple of uh, questions and people who have their hand raised, I will uh, I'll try and get to you. Let me just try and get through some of these questions first. Um, so the first question here is, is there any automation on the lock unlock feature um, and with the cloud edit, or do you have to manually lock unlock the document when editing? Yeah, it looks like there was a couple of cloud edit questions, so I can probably knock both of those out. Um, because there's there was a follow up for cloud edit you mentioned this invokes file and record lockout for the endpoint user, then that file can be accessed and worked on by others. Is this correct? 
Um, so again, and I actually pulled my Cloud Edit demo down already, but the way Cloud Edit works is when I go and open the file, uh, it will automatically lock. So there, there's no manual intervention required. While I have that document open, um, it's locked for everyone else. So no one else can go in and work on it at the same time um, I'm doing that. Once I save and close that document, it will then sync back up to the AWS Gov Cloud, and at that time, it will automatically unlock. Uh, you can manually unlock it. I was doing that just for the demo sake because it does take you know a few seconds to to unlock, and and for sake of time, I manually unlocked it. But you do not have to do that whatsoever. In a normal setting, it would unlock well before someone else is opening it. Um, so yeah, everything is automatically done for you with the ability to manually override if if needed. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing I didn't point out um, is when I open it and somebody else goes to work on it, it would actually show that it's locked and it would also show who locked it. And that lock is in effect for eight hours. Um, should have covered that. That was one thing I, I, I didn't show, but it will show anyone else who has actually locked that. So if you want to ping them and, and see if they're done working on it, you know exactly who to reach out to. Great. Thanks, Jamie. I'll just add that that for outside the cloud edit offering prevail, you know, if you do locally sync your files, we also have the capability to lock files for that as well. And we do have an automated method of doing that if you use our, uh, for office documents, if you use our office add-ins. So uh, we have office add-ins for Word, Excel, PowerPoint uh, that that are, I know our Word is, is, is available today. We're adding Excel and PowerPoint as well. And that will automatically, if uh, someone's editing it, if someone else tries to edit that same document um, outside the cloud edit functionality, just with our standard sync functionality, it will uh, let that individual know right inside the app that, that the other individual is working on it. So, okay. There was a Great. quick question here also about this pricing change with the edit capability. Um, you wanna go ahead and just hit that one of you? Sure, that, as for cloud edit, you mean? Yes. In regard to cloud edit, thanks Orly. I, there's no pricing change. That's uh, currently that's all included with a standard prevail license. Will be available to all of our customers, uh, clients at no additional charge. Okay. Ah, here's one. Is there a list of the DLP keywords for auto uh, auto encryption, and is it customizable at the tenant admin level? It, uh, it, it is not. It, it is not, but, but we're open to making changes. Like I said, there's about 12 of them uh, today. I'm sure we could share that with you on an individual basis as to what it's currently designed for, but it's it's designed to be flexible. So if we need to go and add six more uh, you know, next quarter, we probably could do that. I don't think there's like a limit or anything like that, but we picked the 12 most common that we thought people would wanna use. Um, FCI, FOUO, secure, encrypt, uh, ITAR, CY, uh, things like that. But, but we can make that available if someone requests that specifically. All right. Um, there are two There's, people. Yeah, there, sorry, there, there is an important follow-up question that I saw there um, that it oh. asks if it extends to attachments um, oh. or if it's just the subject and body. Um, important to note that this does not attack, uh, extend to attachments, and it also does not include the body of the message. It is strictly the subject, um, and that is because Prevail, um, you know, simply doesn't have the ability to access the the, the subject whatsoever. We only see this uh, the body. Excuse me. We only see the subject. Right. So the, yeah, this is subject only. Again, this is more for policy making. You, you make the policy, for instance, that you use prevail, toggle on prevail for managing CUI and, the, and also to put CUI or ITAR in that subject line. If they remember to do either one, you're gonna have the desired result. All right. And I think we, I know we kind of grouped some of the questions together. Um, I think uh, that is all the questions we got. Um, oh. Okay, so I think we sign off of this. Yeah, uh, let's wrap it up. Yeah, yep. awesome. Um, so make sure to email us, audience, if uh, there are any follow-up questions you have. Love to hear from you as always. Um, so for me, thank you very much. Uh, pleasure to spend this time with you gentlemen and uh, 
look forward to being in touch with uh, our partners. Yeah, thank you very much, everyone, for joining. Looking forward to working with all of you closely over the next few months to, to close out 2023 in a successful way for both of us and then having a, a, a big year in 2024. Thanks again. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.